Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you the basic setup procedure for the Samsung Galaxy A5 2017 edition. When it comes to unboxing the device and you've inserted the SIM card and your SD card, you've powered it on for the first time, it's then time to start setting up. Now with Samsung devices you can make the setup as easy and quick um, or as long as you want really, it depends on how much detail you want to go through. The first screen you'll come to will require you to choose your language and you can use your finger to select the right one. Once you've done that, press start. You'll then instantly be asked to scan for your Wi-Fi. Now of course I would say take your time to find your Wi-Fi network for example and enter your password. Now I'm not going to do that at this current time but once you've found your one uh, and you've entered the details, press next. You'll then need to go through the terms and conditions. Now you can read all of these through the learn more section. Um, I know a lot of people <laughs> simply skip them. You might want to have a little look and then press next again. It will then instantly check for software updates. Uh, now, if you've bought your device brand new, there shouldn't be any, um, but you never know. Now, this is the important bit. If you're moving from a different uh, Android device, um, you may be actually able to import all your existing data over. Now to do this, you'll select the copy Google accounts option. Then on the next screen, you'll sign into that Google account and wait for the import to happen. Now this will take a good 10, 20 minutes to complete just because there's a lot of files, folders and bits of kind of backend admin <laughs> stuff that needs to also be imported. So if that sounds like what you need to do, copy that. If, of course, you haven't got, this is your first Android device, no, select no thanks. It'll then do the check-in for again to make sure that's all good. You can then sign into a Google account. Obviously, like previously, you'll do this if you need to uh, import some of your stuff over. Alternatively, if you haven't got a Google account, you'll need to set one up and just select all create a new account option. And it's pretty self-explanatory. And we can skip this option. It'll then uh, ask you to enter a name. So I'm just going to put, oh, well, no. Just input the name as such. Um, we'll just call it MHD, MHD. <laughs> and then once you've done that, press next again. It'll then ask you if you want to set up your email. Now, if you've previously signed into a Google account, you won't get this option. Um, of course, you can use any of these other emails if you've got them. You just press on it and sign in. It'll then ask you about security. So here you can add your own fingerprint to secure your phone, which uses the home button at the bottom, or you can even enter a pin, password, and stuff like that. Oh, but right now, I'm not gonna bother. And skip anyway. You then need to make sure you've got these Google services enabled, which it all should be by default. Press next. And then you have the option of creating a Samsung account. So this is for Samsung's own app store and stuff. This one isn't as necessary. Um, they're, you know, I don't want to be horrible to Samsung, but their content <laughs> isn't as good as what Google offer. So that's an optional one. And let's skip. You then, I told you it's a long process, <laughs> you get about the customization options. Now I'd recommend just pressing finish here. Um, I wouldn't customize this yet uh, just because you don't know how you'll use your device. Um, but once you press finish, it'll do a locating thing and then it should, hopefully, <laughs> process all the information you've put in, all the options and take you to your home screen. And that is the basics. Let's close down it. <laughs> that is the basics of how to set up your Samsung Galaxy A5 2017 edition. Thanks for watching.